Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on finding the equation of a straight line given its gradient and a point. So we want to determine the equation of a line with gradient 3 and go through the point 2, 5. Now in previous videos on straight line equations, we saw that the general equation of a straight line was y is equal to mx plus c. And just to remind you what the bits of that were, the m, the value on front of the x, or the coefficient of x as it's formally known, is known as the gradient, and the c was the y-intercept of the line. Now, we're told the gradient, the gradient is free of this line, so we know the m is free, so let's write that down, m is free, but we don't know the y-intercept. You might think the y-intercept is this 5, but the thing is, if I was to plot the point t5, t5 is here, and we know the line goes through like that, we can see that the 5 there is not the y-intercept. The y-intercept is somewhere down here. That's the y-intercept. And it's not immediately obvious what that y-intercept is going to be. But you also remember in a previous video that I said that the equation of a line is like a membership rule that says that any point on this line has to obey this equation. So, so far, if we know that m is 3, we can write out y equals 3x plus c. So we know that the gradient is 3 but we don't know what the y-intercept is, so we're going to have to leave that as c. But at this point, what we can do is we can say, well, if the point 2, 5 is on this line, then we can substitute this into this equation, because we know that 2, 5 has to obey this equation if 2, 5 is on the line. So let's do that. We substitute in 2, 5. Now, remember, x is the 2, the y is the second value, the, the 5. So if y is 5, we sub in 5, 5 equals 3x, so 3 times the x value of 2, that just means 3 times 2, plus c. Let's simplify that, 5 is equal to, 3 times 2 is 6, plus c. Now I want to get the c on its own, c, we're adding 6 to it, so let's just minus 6 from both sides. 5 minus 6 is minus 1. And 6 minus 6, that gets rid of that 6, and we're just left with c. We can see that 6 plus negative 1 is 5, so c is minus 1. And now we've got our equation. We've got y is equal to mx, 3x, plus c, so plus minus 1. But we could just write that as minus 1. So that is our final answer. So just to summarise what we did, if we know that the gradient is 3, step 1 is substitute the known gradient into y equals mx plus c. So we have y equals 3x plus c because we knew the gradient was 3. And then step 2 is to substitute the known point, this 2, 5 was the known point, into the equation to find c. And step 3, if you like, is just write out the equation again, but with the m in your equation and the c, in this case, minus 1, into your equation.